Hey guys, uh, back again. Uh, this is the video I've been planning to make for a while. Um, it's basically on the TP4B, so it's the Vito Pro Pack Tech Series TP4B, which is this pouch here. Yeah, I originally bought the TP4B um, as a supplementary electrical bag. I, I use the Tech LC as my electrical bag. Bought this uh, so I could put in just, you know, a few basic electrical tools uh, for quick sort of calls to save Carly in the, the bigger bag. And it, although this was excellent at that, um, I'll put some pictures up shortly of how I had it set up. Um, I have found with the Tech LC, it's such a compact and you know, lovely feeling bag. It's no big deal just to carry the whole bag, you know, into into jobs. You don't really need the smaller version. But the reason I'm making this video is I also have the Tech LC, which the Tech XL, sorry, which is here. Uh, if you've seen some of my videos, this, this is featured in a few of them. Um, this is my general maintenance bag. So pretty much this bag's catered to do. You know, all, all the small jobs around the home that you can think of, you know, basic small jobs. But what I am finding, I have that, I've had this for a little while now. When this is fully loaded, it's very, very heavy. It's a fantastic bag, a great bag. Um, I'll never get rid of it. It's This is what I'm still going to use all the time. But there is a need for a smaller, you know, watered down version of this bag. Just to, you know, nip into properties. You know, it could be something as stupid as, you know, hanging a, a picture or, I don't know, changing a, a light fitting, a light pendant, anything, you know, tiny, small jobs like that, changing the washer on a tap, uh, whereas you don't, you don't need this huge bag to carry in, you know, with potential power tools as well that you're carrying. Um, so I've come up with this here. Yeah, so I've come up with this here. Um, every tool I've put in this bag has been thought out. Um, it doesn't deserve a place in this bag if it's not going to be used. These are all very commonly used tools, which I'll find a use for, you know, day in, day out. And um, there's nothing in here that won't get used. You know, if it sits here and doesn't get used for, you know, a couple of jobs, it'll get binned out of this bag. This is this is still an experiment. I think all Vito bags are you're constantly chopping and changing. But this is a, this is a need for me at the moment. Um, so that's what this video is going to be about. Um, I'm not going to do a a detailed overview of the tools that's in it, because you've probably seen, if you've seen any of my other videos, I'll put a link up here to my my Vito playlist where a lot of my bags uh, feature. But this one is basically a mini Tech XL. It's a watered down version, um, and it's you know it's more of a portable bag. You know, it just lifts up. It's very easy to lift, carry. Um, I reckon. This set up here will, will cater for, I don't know, maybe 50% 50, 50 of my small, small sort of jobs, which is ideal. I have borrowed some of the tools out of my Tech XL to put in here, so if this is a success, obviously replace all these into my Tech XL, keep it fully loaded, and buy secondary tools for this, um, which is something I do a lot of anyway. Some people might think that's mad, but it's just down to efficiency. You know, I've got some tools, I've got four or five of the same thing, um, but it's it's efficient. That's that's just what I do. Okay, so I'll run I'll, I'll do a quick through quick run through all the tools that I carry in here and it will be quick, um, because these videos do drag on a bit. Uh, I'll take the tool out and I'll give you a quick explanation what it is and basically what I'm gonna be using it for. Okay. Okay, so off, uh, we've got the, the impact driver. This is the one, it's, this is uh, from a Tech XL at the moment, but I'll probably still use the same impact and say buying another one and just hook it onto this bag as I need it. Uh, but it's a 10.8 version, it's the small version, it's, it's handy. I'm actually grown to like this. I think the first couple of videos I've done, I didn't 
didn't like it. I think it was just because I was used to the, the feel of the DeWalt and how the batteries operate in the DeWalt, because that's all the tools I have are DeWalt, but this is actually a nice little tool. Um, I'm growing to like it. So, Milwaukee Impact. The side of the bag. Just a plasterboard saw. Um, this is just a spare one I've got. The good thing about the TP4B, it does come with a plastic lined pocket on the side where you can store knives vertically. And it's, you know, it's safe and it's protected, so it's probably the only reason I've got it in there. And I do use these a lot, you know, for cutting out uh, dry lining sort of boxes. Okay. Trusty Hansen Stud Finder. I use these all the time. Uh, I've got these on every bag, uh, and I'll, the, this is no exception. I mean, I only I think they're fourteen pounds each, so there'll be another one getting purchased for this bag. Okay, small level Dewalt. Um, again, I'll, I'll probably purchase another level for this bag. It might not be the Dewalt. I, I do like this Stabila on boat levels as well, but. Uh, we'll see. Okay, an extension bit for the impact driver. Everybody needs one of those for the hard to reach places. This is uh, just a very small uh, screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, uh, insulated. You know, these, these always come in handy. Sharpie, uh, self explanatory. Everybody needs a sharpie. This is an Ofa snap off knife. It's one of these. Uh, always handy as well. Uh, you'll notice I've got no screwdrivers in this bag uh, whatsoever, so hence the reason this ratchet and screwdriver, multi bit screwdriver. All the bits in there and it ratchets. That's, that's, this will be an ideal addition to this bag. So many options with this. Yeah. The Tool Check Plus. Again, I carry these in a couple of my bags. I mean, look at this. All the options you've got with this. You've got the ratchet, the nut driver. Um, you know, all these bits here, which can be fitted into the ratchet, obviously, or the screwdriver handle. Which is so small, it acts as a stubby anyway. So, yeah, this is just uh, a great bit of kit to have in this bag. And it fits, and it features, fits really neatly in the front here. Back max tape. Just me and my auto locking metric only tapes. Um, as I've said in other videos, it's my preferred sort of tape. Uh, it's good. Automatic wire strippers, I'll be lost without these just because I'm used to them. I've used them for years. Uh, they definitely earn a place in this bag. Just a cheap Sealy hammer, um, just for knocking plugs in, you know, just hitting things with basically. Uh, but it's a nice compact size, it's not too long either, it fits in there. You know, it fits in there nice. <clears throat> Nipex side cutters, you know, just cutting things, wire, cable, whatever. Uh, multitude of uses for these. Complimentary set of uh, Nipex line pliers. Um, pretty much just complement the, the side cutters. We have the Nipex plier wrench. I mean, I've showed these in uh, most of my videos. Yeah, I've showed these in most of my videos, and I'm getting to really like these. Um, oh, excellent. And I've got another set here, so I've got two sets. Uh, one of them's one fifth. You can see the numbers there, I don't know if you can see them. But I've got a set of 180s and a set of 150s. Um, just, I, had, I do own bigger sets of these, the 250s, but for this bag, they're nice and compact, and probably all I need for the basic maintenance tasks. Okay, trusty Baco spanner. Again, I probably don't need this because I do have my nip Nipex uh, plier wrenches, but it's just a favourite tool of mine, so 
you know, I'll always have one of these. Um, I mean, I should do really get rid of these and just use my, my Nipex wrenches, but no, it's, I like using it so it's staying. I'll keep that. Uh, Nipex Cobras. These are the 250s, but they're, they're fairly slim and light, so they fit in here nicely. Um, I'd be lost without these, especially for uh, plumbing or... I mean, there's so many uses for these. Even things as stupid as pulling staples out of floors, you know, if you're away to do laminate floors and then you know, get these down and grip the staple out. Holding pipe, you know, ugh, so many uses that are fantastic. Uh, trusty Stanley Fat Max utility knife. Use these normal bags, just the knife I'm used to. Uh, do the job. Spare blades in the hand also, no need to carry any spare blades with this. No, a great fluke voltage tester. Um, I'd be lost without this. I need I need these in every bag. You know, I'm just so used to using them. Uh, just a great bit of kit. I mean, they're, they're obviously controversial. Some people, you know, don't like using them or don't trust them. Um, but I I I love the, I love this this tool. Pika pencil. Again, I've got these in every bag. It's just the, the good thing about this is the holster can it, it fits really tightly into the bag. The pencil just comes straight out. Um, you can mark deeper holes with this because of the, the thinness of the neck. You know, just push the button, it extends the lead. Also, there's a built in pencil sharpener on the end here. You know, stick the lead in, twist it, and it, it's sharpened, you know. So these are really great, they're, they're versatile. Um, yeah, love them. Small Nebo torch. Self-explanatory, just a small torch with a magnet on the bottom. Yeah, it's obviously stainless steel, <laughs> but it sticks sticks to steel. Um, uh, no, under sinks, things like that. It's great. Tape loop. All I've got in here is PTFE and uh, just a row of standard black insulating tape. There's no need to carry the full load of tapes for small maintenance jobs. This is probably all I need. Nipex scissors. Um, I'm growing to love these. I've got these in every bag and the amount of uses, honestly, I use them all the time. You know, I use them too much to be honest. I should be using, you know, uh, side cutters or pliers. I end up using these because they're just handy to pull out the, hol the holster. Uh, no, these are, these are great. Um, so many uses as well, so they they definitely are in a place on the bag. This is just a razor blade tool, a scraper, um, scraping silicon, you know, paint off windows, uh, you know, stickers. Ugh, so many uses, but it's it's definitely a, a tool that needs to stay on that bag because I use them all the time. Okay. I don't really have too much in here. Um, I've got the wee ha multi bit stubby. I don't really need that, I don't think, because I do have the tool check plus, which acts as a stubby screwdriver as well. But it's so small, you know, It's and it's, it just feels good if you need to get some purchase onto some, you know, screws, I would, I would grab this. Um, again, uh, grip it marksman. If you've seen my other videos, I've got these in every bag. This bag's no exception. I just love these things. I uh, use them all the time. Um, that's it. I haven't really loaded that front pocket. Yeah, I'll maybe find other things to put in it. Um, probably because I've got the, the PB5 parts bag. This is, I've actually stolen this bag off the, my Dewalt uh, fencing stapler. This used to hold staples for that, but I don't use it often enough um, to justify that at the moment. So I'm going to use it in this bag to see see if that uh, you know if it's a better use of the, the 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 bag. To be honest, so yeah. So if anybody hasn't seen these, this is the Vito Pro Pack PB5 parts bag. Um, these are my preferred storage bags. I've actually got a video uh, on these, which again, if my 
little thing works. I'll put the link to right there. And it's worth a watch, only five or ten minutes. Um, have a look and I kind of review these bags uh, for carrying small parts. But for the bag in question, the TP4B, uh, my small maintenance bag, this is what I'm going to carry in this. This will this will probably change over time, but I've just put in what I, what, you know, what I think I'll use. Okay, so earth sleeving, always use that. I've just put in a small bag of six millimeter wall plugs uh, with relevant screws. I always use these all the time. You know, these six mil and eight mil. I just this set up. I've got little boxes of these, but there's no way really way to hold them in this bag. So the best thing I can think of at the moment. <laughs> A little bag inside the PB5. Uh, just a spare pipe slice, 15 mil. 15 millimeters is the most common size of pipe that I, that I deal with, so that earns a place in there. Small 15 millimeter isolation valve. You know, just fit it on the pipe and turn the screw and it isolates the water when you need be. There's always a use for these, um, so hence why that's there. Uh, 15mm speed fit end cap. For any reason you've got an open end 15mm pipe and it's gushing out water, just slam this cap on the end and it stops it. Or, you know, for capping off water temporarily, things like that. It's just, it's, it's worth having. Uh, we've got some uh, push fit copper, there's unions there, elbows. Um, I do use the speed fit, the John Guest speed fit fittings quite a lot, but they're, they're actually quite bulky and you can't really fit them in this bag. So these are the these are the best option for this at the moment. I mean, the thing is, if you're doing an in-depth plumbing job, you're not going to use this little bag for that. I would take my, my dedicated, you know, plumbing bag, my OTMC, plus my my dual boxes for all my plumbing fittings. Uh, this is just for quick maintenance type jobs, as I've said. Uh, so more of them. I don't know if you can see in there, but a heap of Wago connectors. All the different types, you know, two or three of each different type. So it gives us the full range. Okay, so I'll pick the camera up now. Yeah, so basically from this small little bag here, you can get all these tools, you know, in there. Um, Overall, this has got to be probably my second favourite uh, bag from Vito. As I've said before, the Tech LC is my favourite bag, just for the, the size of it and the, the storage options. <coughs> it just seems to be well-sized and well-weighted. But this comes a close second. This is... It's just, you can get so much in it um, for the size of it. Uh, that's it. You can actually clip it on the side of their... You know, any other bag I've got, like a tech, you know, LC. So say I'm going to an electrical job and I need some general maintenance tools as well. You just clip, clip that on the side. Uh, yeah, like so. So, as I was saying, here's my tech LC. Uh, it's the bag I use for electrical. Uh, as I was saying, if you were doing an electrical job and you had a few maintenance tasks to do as well within the, the same household, this is what you can do here. Uh, TP4B, just clip it onto the side. I mean, that still won't be, I, I mean, this and this together still won't be as heavy as the Tech XL. Uh, so, it's a definite, definite option. As I've said, I'm going to use it, you know, for the next few weeks, just see how I get on with it. You know, I'll provide an update for anybody that's interested. Okay, so general consensus on the TP4B. <laughs> Well, uh, as I've said, it's it's definitely better than the TP4. It's the upgraded version, uh, basically because it's got the, the plastic base. Which, on the TP4, I am finding uh, this would be handy, because I use my TP4 for fencing, if you've seen my other video uh, with that one. It would be, you know, with the conditions that I work in, it would definitely be better with the, the plastic base. So I may buy another one of these uh, for that purpose, for the fencing bag. Yeah, my advice, well, not advice, but uh, my, you know, I would thoroughly recommend this bag. Okay, guys, well, I hope that was helpful. hope it's given you an overview of the bag.
there's so many reviews on YouTube. Um, I'm sure you could take your pick and have a look, but this is not a review from me. This is just a, a general overview of what I use it for, or what I'm going to use it for. Um, I think it'll be it'll be good. Um, yeah, excellent bag. As always, guys, uh, if you give the video a like, subscribe. Um, I'll get some more videos out on this uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I've done a few now, so I'm getting used to, you know, uploading. Um, I just need to get some more jobs filmed, uh, bigger jobs. Uh, but as always, I'm rambling again, so <laughs> we'll get off. We'll see you again in the next one, guys. Okay, cheers.